Okay, yeah, in this bag here, you have your swimming cap and you have seven wristbands. One is for you to keep and the other six are, are for you to give back to us. Now these are the most important thing of the swim for us because each band represents either an angel, which is somebody who has had motor neuron disease and has unfortunately passed on, or a warrior, somebody who's fighting motor neuron disease, like my friend Ian here. What we do is we take these back at the end of the swim and we send them over to the, to the either to the families of the, the angels or directly to the warriors. And we've honoured them when we, when we swam this swim, you've honoured them. When I'm swimming the Solent, I remember my dad, Nigel Machen. My mum, Carol Sharp. Swimming in memory of my father-in-law, Mike. Swimming the Solent, I always remember Ian Pratt. In memory and for everybody fighting this awful disease. Hey, I'm Sally Dunford and I'm swimming for my dad, Michael Thornton. Ian, Ian Pratt, my friend. I'm doing this in memory of my dad. I think of Steve. He's my guardian angel. Ian Pratt, uh, about all the people we're swimming this for. My angel's my own dad, Nigel Dawson. Um, he passed away in 2001. I do it in memory of my Uncle Kim who came and watched it. I think of Ian. He, he has inspired me, his strength, the, the way he has carried on and he still comes and supports us every year, even with all the anguish and pain he's gone through. Welcome back to the Solent Swim. We're here again with our crew, Tana, and uh, it's been a struggle this year to get Ian back. He, I don't think he's smiled since we've left home this time because it's been a, it's been difficult for Daddy to travel this year. No, absolutely uh, unbelievable what those guys have to go through. So uh, it's very much in your mind as you swim across. You get out of the water. First thing you do is find Sarah, give her your wristbands, and she will send them off. Okay, this is the most important thing. So please, please, please make sure the first thing you do is give these bands to Sarah. Yeah, um, the wristbands are everything. This is, what, this is what the swim's about. Yes, it's phenomenal that we raise money. It's, but you know, fundamentally, it's honoring our angels and our warriors. As of today, and it could change by morning, I have 307 names on the list because I get obviously unindated with messages on social media and things like that. But looking at the list and reviewing it and changing a warrior to an angel is sad all over again. We thought of about 20 names, people that we contacted and said like, what would you think of this? Would it be a good idea? And I think that first year we had 128. <laughs> we were like, oh my goodness. Originally, we, just, we were going to try and get the wristbands with people's names on them, but obviously the cost that that would incur was far too great. So we came up with the idea, so every year we have a different colour, they're tweaked a little bit, so that everyone's different. It, we're here to cheer these swimmers in as they come in, and then we're going to cheer the swimmers as they head back. So when the swimmers are coming out, they get greeted and uh, Sarah and uh, Georgiana have been greeting them and they've been taking the wristbands off the swimmers that they can bring across. Then as they derobe as such with their wetsuits coming off, they then go up to Ian. The swimmers come up to Ian and Ian gives them their trophy for crossing the Solent, which is a lovely, beautiful glass blown trophy for us every year and uh, Ian's been taking a selfie with them as they come out so he's got a memory of this for when we get home and he'll probably post them on wherever it goes on the internet for everything. I think anybody that, that gets into wild water and, and swims deserves a medal. It's, you know, it's not something I would relish doing but uh, you know, I'll take my hat off to anybody that can, that can do, do anything like that. I mean, uh, and of course, I mean, apart from the satisfaction they're getting by, you know, by, for themselves by doing it, you know, they're benefiting other people too. And, you know, it, it's got to be worthwhile. And God bless them. My dad, he's come down to see me do my first sea swim, isn't it? Yeah. 
So yeah, it was really, really good that you could be here today. And it got quite choppy. The, the current coming in is really strong and hard work. But, um, and the red doors behind us didn't seem to get any closer for quite a long time. And then suddenly we're here. So I've um, brought my wristbands over and still got my own here. It was special um, during the tough times of swimming. You could... <sighs> they were there as a reminder. And my kayak and crew were amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Get the ferry next time, so it's easy. <laughs> it was lovely going over. <laughs> we, we've developed a, quite a team, it's, it's almost like a family, a band of brothers, if you like, and we have some people kayak every year, some people kayak and swim. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great bunch, there's a nucleus, probably about 20 or so of us that are here every year and uh, people turn up on the shore as well every year whilst they're able to and uh, it's become a real close-knit sort of family thing and it's something we all look forward to. Now we got married uh, a month and a half ago and got married on the Isle of Wight. We live in Amsterdam but uh, we've got big connections with the Isle of Wight. I grew up here and um, our wedding list uh, was um, open to donations for uh, the Impratt Foundation. So uh, we really don't. There's nothing we want or need, but we've had some huge support from all of our uh, all of our guests at the wedding, from colleagues. There's people sending messages all day, and from right around the world. So really, really pleased with the level of support and the level of awareness that we've managed to raise here. You know, to have days like this when we're dealing with a disease like motor neuron disease. It's very, very uplifting and it's great to be part of it. So this is my second year swimming the Solent. Um, I think I was so inspired um, by the support for the charity last year and what an incredible um, support team that um, do a lot of work for the charity but also support the swimmers here today. I felt that I'd done one half of the Solent and I should come back again this year to do the opposite direction. Um, so with the support of the same kayaker, Carlo, this year, I managed to make it across from the mainland to the island this time. My dad was diagnosed um, with motor neuron disease and he passed away within 10 months. Sarah asked me if I um, wanted my dad to be involved with the wristbands and I said uh, the only person that takes my dad over is me and that's how I ended up in a kayak because I don't do swimming. I'm not sure what my dad would have thought but uh, I'd like to think that um, by doing this that uh, we give a bit of hope uh, to people that have got uh, motor neuron disease at the moment that they, that they know that there is people um, doing everything they can to try and find a cure. And it, it, it's refreshing to know that uh, even in the, even in, in this day and age you know uh, you know it, you know there's people you know that really care and uh, you know it's not all doom and gloom out there there's an awful lot of good people about and they do fantastic things and I thank them. And we are very proud of these guys every year for swimming the Solent for MND, for supporting us, for the kayakers, for support boats, for Sarah daddy. and Tony, for you for being amazing and yes, for Daddy, correct, for Daddy-O. Daddy. So we are, we are here, that's what counts. To register for a swim, go to swimmingthesolent4mnd.com. Click subscribe to find out more about the Ian Pratt Mountain Neuron Disease Foundation and watch more videos of Swimming the Solent on our channel. We hope you will be able to join us in raising awareness very soon.